Right, morning folks, how are we all doing? I am uh, back with some reviews. So this morning, it's like it's gonna be a beautiful day again, but I ain't gonna, uh, ain't gonna take the joy off Milverton and uh, his weather forecast. Even though I am a complete separate part of the country, it's clear skies, sun's about to come around the corner. It's gonna be a nice day. So what I'm smoking, what I would be about to be smoking, um, is just for him, Nerds Mixture. Mystic Nerds even. It's early, I'm a bit rough this morning. So, I'm gonna be smoking this on my Stanwell Freehand, um, which hopefully I've got rid of most of the ghosting from the Peterson Sunset Breeze. Um, using whoops, using Carter Hall um, does remove the ghosting very well and a chap whose name I've forgotten I also commented on I think it was on my video of Carter Hall that he does the same thing two or three smokes and the ghosting's gone and it, it does it works really well so if you've got a pipe that's heavily ghosted smoke some Carter Hall strip out those flavours start afresh um, so Mystic Nerds. It's a bit hard to see in this light, but it's predominantly black. There uh, are some brown notes in there. Um, it's got a very sticky, sticky feel. Um, it's not sopping wet, but there's a decent amount of moisture on it. Out of the pouch, I still can't put my finger on it. Subtle licorice, maybe. Some sweet currant or berries. A very strong alcohol like the cure kind of smell to it as well um, so I'm just keeping an eye on the cat so he's about to jump over next door's fence and the cat's next door and my cat don't get on but it does have a lovely aroma perfect for a late spring early summer morning um, before I start that um, since my mouth's now healed, uh, I've smoked a few cigars, so a quick couple of summaries of what I've had. Uh, Friday night, I had one of the My Father by Garcia Garcia, um, uh, Cedro Deluxe Cervantes, Cervantes. That is a freaking amazing cigar. Um, I love the shape, I think it's 6.5x42 or 6.5x44. Um, complexity doesn't quite cut it. It's got one of the sweetest full flavoured cigars I've ever smoked. The first third, a very sticky kind of like caramel toffee sweetness to it, um, with lots of pepper, earth and woods, but overlyingly sweet and pepper in the first half. The second half, as you got your way through, it lost the pepper. Um, still sweet, not quite sticky sweet now, more of kind of a dark chocolate sort of flavours. Still lots and lots of woods and nuts and things like that, but that was a beautiful cigar um, I can't wait to smoke a couple more of those um, I really did enjoy that and then last night uh, I had a, a blah, 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 Antonio Jimenez a Filipino cigar an Antonio Jimenez Corona now these are light um, they come wrapped in cellophane poorly wrapped in cellophane I have to add um, when you open them you hit with ammonia um, they're not dried properly um, the 1898 Independencia uh, was the same. Um, the ammonia flavour and that carried through the, through the first third before it died. But the um, Antonio Jimenez surprisingly didn't. Um, on the whole, the flavour profile was very, very roasted. It was kind of like um, roasted nuts and roasted beans, like coffee beans sort of thing. Um, sweetness to it. But the finish was fruity. It was like a peachy, apricotty sort of finish. Um, very, very, very light smokes. Doesn't produce a lot of smoke. Um, you could quite, e I quite easily inhaled it to get a little bit more flavour. So to say, the first half is like sweet roasted nuts, roasted coffee. Uh, second half um, lost the sweetness. It still had the roastedness, but it kind of subsided a little bit. A lot more nuts and woods. Um, still had that kind of beanie flavour, came through as vanilla and on occasions, but but no, that was a very enjoyable smoke. Got rather tangy in the last half, very tarry. Um, but no, set smell-wise, you could 
only smell ammonia. There was nothing else to it. Um, and the fi flavour profile it say, did not come through, uh, which is always a bonus. So that's what I've had in the last couple of days. Um, I'm back on my pipe. I've still got some Garrison number 12 mixture that I'm finishing off. So I've been enjoying that. Like, whoops. So, initial tasting notes on the sweet. And fruity. It's kind of a mixed fruit sort of taste. Very sticky, but not a lot. Not the most flavoursome start. It's still quite enjoyable. So, I'm going to smoke some more of this. See where it leads, but I say it's slightly licorice. -y. Kind of a sugar sweet start to it. So, I shall return. Right, so. Coming towards the end of this now. Um, sweet is my description of this. Taste reminds me of when you stick <clears throat> lots of different flavoured Skittles into your mouth at the same time and things like that. It's just a generic mass of sweet flavours. It's not not my thing at all. Um, it doesn't bite as such, but all the sugars in my mouth are burning my throat. And ugh. like you say, we say, Mystic Nerds. Ugh, it's not a tobacco for me at all um, as you know I'm not a big fan of aromatics anymore um, but this just is too sweet it's got to be one of the sweetest tobaccos I've ever smoked um, uh, to say the, the taste it leaves in my mouth Not appealing at all. I don't want to sound um, ungrateful to to Mark and Amber, but definitely not this one, folks. I didn't think I'd be a fan of this. This is why I chose this to be the first one that I reviewed. I know quite a few people who would like this. I say it's not for me. The taste still got a licorice bit to it, but it reminds me of eating a whole packet of Skittles in one go. Too much, too much sugar, too much sweetness. But anyway, so yeah, Mystic Nerds, sweet, very sweet. Smokes cool, uh, burns easily. The blend of tobaccos isn't bad. It's not, not much nicotine to it. 
that flavour profile wise, wah, not for me. But would appeal to a lot of other people. So uh, I'm going to keep reading my book. Put some music on. And enjoy my Sunday. So I'll be back later. Um, I'm going to come back with some Navy Flake later. So, see you in a bit, folks. Goodbye.